Dan, obviously, when when you apply to become a mayor, because that's how it works, uh, when you apply to become a mayor, you have to convince the panel of your your at least five year strategy for your town. And what I've done was to link my uh, five year plan and objectives to that of the Premier of the Western Cape, so that I can replicate what is happening on a provincial level, also on a local level. And I am very vocal about the fact that I've got three objectives. And the one is to improve communication. Uh, The other one is to reduce crime. Now, you can say to me, what does crime have to do with you? But crime also is within the non-compliance to municipal bylaws um, in relation to traffic offences and a variety of issues. And then thirdly, to improve the cost and ease of doing business uh, with Overstrand. But overriding all of that is my, my mantra of an Overstrand for all. And what exactly does that mean? Uh, Overstrand has been in the news for many good things and for many not so good things. And what I'm saying is that everyone that lives in Overstrand should have access to the same quality of service. If I remove refuse once a week in Fulclip or in the Calders or in Betis Bay, I must also once a week remove the refuse in Zuelishle, in Overheels, in uh, Eloxolweni. If the tanker services is, uh, is run 24-7 and I render an after-hour service in the previously more advantaged communities, I must do exactly the same in the previously more disadvantaged areas. So I'm very much for the same quality of service across the Overstrand. And that has its challenges because I have many informal settlements. And therefore, one of the things that I'm doing at the moment is to try and electrify as much of the remaining informal settlements that are without electricity. Because by doing that, you are starting to build a more dignified life. Obviously, I get income out of it. It reduces uh, illegal electricity connections and everything that goes with that. Um, And so that is my every decision I take. Every morning when I sit in Mako and I discuss where we're going, my question is always, how does this uh, contribute to the three C's, as I call it, and how does it contribute to making an overstrand for all uh, a livable and an achievable objective? 